this is it. I've been waiting for years for the Amiga to come back. And this is it. Amiga 32 Germany. The biggest show I've been to in absolutely years. This is Marcus Tillman, the organiser, with his daughter who had a little Amiga 32 Germany top on. He did a fabulous job. There was over 500 people there. And you know, they could have doubled that if they got a bigger venue. I was amazed. Now this place is Virtual Dimensions. You may remember these guys off YouTube. And you know, they've been doing video reports in Germany all about Amiga since these kind of early, early shows. And you can check them out. They're, they're really interesting guys, but you kind of have to speak German. This is the Vampire. And look at that, Atari core running on Amiga. Now the Vampire is a solution that sucks the blood out of your Amiga and takes over, but they have the standalone Vampire which is just here, and look at that beautiful machine. He was basically telling me that the 1200 version is just that, with the end cut off and a connector stuck on, so that should work easily. And they were running amazing stuff on there, full video, you know, they had FPU working, and oh my god, it was just fantastic. AGA as well, coming out of the PAL. You know, the Vampire guys are really friendly, and just amazing to see that kind of hardware out there. Now, we have the Cairo Flux guys, and these guys specialize in recording any kind of floppy disk. You know, any format, they can archive it, and they've got this beautiful little device called the Cairo Flux, and you can see it running there in the background. And this device is not just Amiga, you know, it could be used for absolutely everybody, and very interesting for governments and people that used to store a lot of data on their old kind of disks and just don't know how to recover it nowadays. Of course we have the legendary Chris Holzbeck and he had some amazing items, you know, I wanted to kind of buy them all but I couldn't take them on the plane, but just having Holzbeck there, he was just an absolute legend and he's uh, redone the Turrican 2 album, so that was all available and of course he had some Factor 5 crew there, some wonderful games, oh and of course we had Bad Cat. Bad Cat, the famous game, yes. We'll show respect to Cat, Bad Cat, but as well as Chris Holzbeck, there was a, other musical performances going on at the time, and we got some clips of those. I think this was a German magazine. This was TDK, amazing, amazing Amiga musician. Listen to this, guys. Absolutely amazing. The whole place was buzzing with people. There was new hardware and software everywhere. This was Morphos 3.10 and that was being used on kind of the X5000. It was being used on MacBooks. It was also being used on the classic Morphos machines. And I absolutely love this operating system. It's a great alternative to OS4. You guys should check it out. You know, they're both really compatible. With a lot of the software is supported on both systems. It's great to see more FOSS guys there because I've been, you know, anticipating this release for a long time. On the end, they had A Cube, and they were showing their Sam 4, 4, 460. They had a few mini MIGs out there, which was really nice. Great Italian company there. And just, and just across from those guys, you've got Aeon and Trevor Dickinson showing his. Uh, brand new machine he had the old x5000 there but he also had the new table machine running and this is alongside amiga kit who are one of the kind of we'll say one of the last full-time retailers of amiga around you know there's only about three in the world and they've supported amiga for a hell of a long time now they had a few new little products they had a uh, the alice laptop there which is amiga like system and they also had this nice little merchandise. I'm always obsessed with my Amiga merchandise and uh, this item was worth having a look. Look at that. Oh, a nice tick on the mouse. That's what you need. 
of course there was the stars there, Dave Haney, Jeff Porter, coming and chatting to everyone. They were completely mobbed all the time. But there was amazing stuff I've not seen before like this plexiglass laser cut Amiga 500 case which looked particularly slick. They had Steve from the Amiga film, the Commodore Wars, and he was documenting everyone that was kind of there. Great opportunity for him. And Marvin Store, oh my god, it was absolutely fabulous. He had so much equipment there. I was selling a few things on there, you know, had some great stuff for sale. And also we had the full-time retailers, which were another one, which was Alina Computer. And they've been online for quite a while. I was surprised that uh, Vizalia were not actually there, but um, maybe they're hiding. There's uh, the Amiga replacement kits here from A1200.net. Now these are absolutely beautiful and this store was completely rammed throughout the whole time. People really had a good opportunity to buy one outside of the Kickstarter. Uh, for some new ones that they just printed but they also interestingly had the keycaps done now this really interests me because I've ordered some and we've all been waiting now they hadn't got the letters printed on them yet but I reassure you they felt very much like the keycaps you know the original kind of style and we had more music coming up on stage which was Blue Metal Rose which was kind of alongside Chris Hulbeck It's not really my thing, but people seem to love it and seem to be down for it. And, uh, you know, it was quite interesting seeing live performances at a show. You know, it's a new element that I'd not seen at Amiga shows before. We had the Cinemaware there and Huno PPC guys. Loving all their ports that they've been doing. Of course, Amiga Future, and they had a new issue of Amiga Joker magazine with all the original writers, and that caused quieter scene. There was a, a massive queue at the Amiga Future stand in the morning just to get copies. Now these guys had some really cool stuff, you know, it was all kind of video game music soundtracks and this was game music albums and it's all really great compilations. They also had a media computer here who were doing, you know, a few sales here and there. And of course, let's just look at the scale of this place. This is the ex-Commodore MD, David Pleasance. And look how many people are talking. This was just one of the talks. And so many people are sitting there paying attention. But there's also movement around the hall. I couldn't believe it, personally. I was, I was shocked throughout the whole day. And look at that all-prized item CD32 keyboard. And this was a lovely display. And all these people have bought their custom machines. You know, the Germans are really hardcore on customizing their machines. Look at this beauty. And I couldn't believe this next one. It was the uh, Amiga 2000 Black and White Edition that somebody had fully customized. And it was absolutely gorgeous. It had LEDs all over the tracers. So you could see exactly what was going on in there. And it was all highlighted and just absolutely gorgeous. Some real passion was put into that machine and an amazing thing that I also saw here you know they had some of the old Amigas on display but they had a 3d printer and you could get custom kind of trapdoors built for you <laughs> whilst you wait this is fantastic and something I never thought we'd have in the Amiga scene you know instant creation of uh, <laughs> hardware there now this was the FPGA Board, which was the mist and you can put multiple cores on this and it's another another FPGA project that's really exciting oh we're looking at a nice 4000 there and I think he said he had a Picasso in there which uh, you know really tempts me and it was just great to see people's machines and of course there was individual computers here so this was the uh, Commodore 64 reloaded it was just some amazing little devices and items. Now I reckon guys, you should all come to Amiga 33 
or whenever it next happens in Germany or Poland or anywhere because I met so many nice people, so many amazing people. This has probably been one of the best shows I've been to in my life.